Now when you think of Bali, you probably think of this, this, or this, but what you've probably never seen is this right here. Right now we are in the northwest of the island, a place where literally nobody ever goes. And so it led me to ask, is this place not worth visiting or is it just a hidden gem? Snorkeling. I'm excited. Are you excited? Could use a little bit of sleep. If we're going to Nap Island, I'm pretty pumped. Yesterday, we spent hours upon hours exploring through the north side. Our butts are sore, but our hearts are open. Beautiful pastel morning. Buggy, what's your name? My name is Putu. Yo, man. Wow. There is nothing more liberating than an early morning on a boat. So if you take a look at the map of Bali, you'll see here this lip. And that is West Bali National Park, a massive body of land. There's monkeys, there are even some deer, but more on that later. All the way behind me there is Java. And that big mountain that you see, that's Kawaii Jen. It's a place where Ruby and I and a few other friends went and carried sulfur out of the volcano with some of the most badass, hardworking people. Definitely need to go watch that video after. This country has so many stories to be told, which is why I couldn't be happier to be here. The water is so warm. You know what I could use right now? What? Friggin' bang bang. This has been a quest to find the perfect bang bang. Putu, do you like bang bang? I like. Nice. And welcome to the West National Park. One of the things that disappoint people when they come to Bali is that the entire island is not surrounded in blue water. What you might not realize is there's actually not a ton of spots where you can get this clarity. There's Uluwatu and apparently Northwest Bali. There's no waves and that's why it's so clear. I literally see a, a dead man's thumb just like, no, we're good, bro. The sap can make us blind. Wow, so this will make you blind for up to a day. Nature's eye drops. This is really good for your skin. And this is also a natural contraceptive. Where do you put it? It's a natural contraceptive. For Use your imagination. I mean, who? Okay, listen. So we've just come across one of the species that you'll find here in the National Forest, and it's the black monkey. They're so cute. <laughs> they all climbed up the tree. They're so agile. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. This is the long tail macaw, and this one you see in the monkey forest. The black monkeys are very shy, very sweet. These ones are mean. On his own, he might not be super aggressive, but when there's a bunch of them together, whew, better watch out. Excuse me! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that beautiful beetle. And what happens when you let him go? Does he fly away? Oh, oh he's look tired. <laughs> Check that out, guys. A little dried coconut. Let's play keep up. <laughs> So, no deer on our quick stop over on the National Park, but we're heading back out on the boat and I have very good feelings that where we're going next, we'll see him. <laughs> you guys just missed me absolutely decking it over there. It's so slippery. I was gonna go in, but I took a step and it slipped. This is a perfect spot to come for a day trip. Come out, snorkel with some friends, have a picnic, take some cool pictures out on the sandbar. I feel like I'm in Raja Ampat or Komodo. It's hard to believe this is still Bali. Woo! Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Wow. This is the entrance to Menjangan Island. And Menjangan actually means deer. This is about 1.2 miles away from the shore, so goes to show deer are actually pretty good swimmers. Because once upon a time, some triumphant deer came over to repopulate this place. So this little spit of sand reminds me a lot of Makassar, which is a stop we did in the Komodo Islands. I keep saying this, I didn't expect this in Bali. So you've got these little areas, which are just magical sand, and then you've got these other areas that just, ouch, coral. <laughs> It's just dried up corals. Ow! But you do have a little bit of like, you know, driftwood. Sadly, a little bit of litter that's coming through. Now for the weather report, I'm gonna pass it off to meteorologist Robbie DeFoss. Weather is looking pretty, pretty good today. Blue skies, not a, not a cloud of, uh... oh wait, look, there's one. Wow, there's a massive school of fish right there. What do you think they're doing? Learning? If you guys are into education, I would check that link down below. They can sure use the one hour training from Lost Creator Academy, which is completely free. Oh, and if you're watching, you may as well check it out too. It is time to go for a little dipperino. Snorkel. A little snorkel snorkel. Gear up. We're going in. So apparently, there's a sea cave right below us. That's like a claustrophobic nightmare. 
You can swim in between it. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Here we go. I hadn't really signed up for uh, swimming with sharks, and it turns out I just did. You, if you read the waiver you signed when you got the shot, 90% of the snorkel spots I've been brought to in the world are just dead coral. Not here. It's alive, it's beautiful, the water is crystal blue, and there's actually a lot of different species of fish. I'm very impressed. The one really sad part, there's a lot of plastic in the ocean right now. But that cave dive, it's one of my favorite diving moments of my life. Bali Explorers. We found these guys on Google and the guys are amazing. Tour is amazing. Now we have lunch prepared. Hopefully this food is just as good. Today has been an absolute dream and I think, you know, we're not quite done our trip yet, but it's already fair to conclude. Yes, this is a hidden gem of Bali. And when you want to come see it, I can't think of better people than these guys right here. Now, Putu was just telling me that since the pandemic, he has gone back to farming. Most of the communities that have worked in tourism have all gone back to their home villages to try to keep the lights on. But I can tell you that tourism coming back here is going to be a very welcome change for them. Please come to Bali. Yeah. <laughs> Well, seems like we came to Deer Island and got no deer. They were here this morning, but they've gone into the forest and uh, hang on a second. There they are. Aww. Now I've got a little confession. I'm not proud of it, but those are not actually shots from today. In fact, those are North American deer and they were made possible by today's video sponsor, Art Grid and Art List. Basically the go-to source for professionals who are looking to tell better stories through music, through footage, and don't want to deal with the hassles of claims. It's one of the best ways to make sure you have all your bases covered for the days when the deer don't show up or when you need that perfect song that brings your audience on that emotional journey. Having looked through their music and visual catalog, I have to say guys, the quality is industry leading. It's some of the best. And if you're a content creator like myself, this is definitely going to be a very, very useful subscription. If you want to get started, then check out that link down below, get two free months, and uh, yeah, let's get back to hopefully finding some actual Southeast Asian deers. You saw a deer? Yeah. Are they afraid of people? Just one more. Hello. Right behind the temple. He's here to pray? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. He's not scared at all. I mean, he's just chilling. He's so cute. No it needs a home. No it name. needs a home. I <laughs> What a day. Now, right behind me are these beautiful mangroves. And actually, they do mangrove tours, but we've chosen not to keep going just because we spent so much time doing some diving, doing the things we love most. And the other thing is, we have about three and a half hours just to get back down to Changu area. We want to take our time as we go across the Western Rim, another region which is, again, very undiscovered. So let's go and check it out. What did you do? You sent me through some of the most treacherous paths in the whole of North Bali. And now we've ended up with a flat tire. Yo, dude, this is gonna cut into our bang bang funds. Yeah, if you didn't have a hole before, now you do. This trip has not been kind to our bikes. No, really, really hasn't at all. Are you okay? If you don't know what we're talking about, it's in the previous video. I scratched my beautiful bike up pretty good on the side. No, this is bad. <laughs> Robbie's repairs, how much were they? 20,000 IDR, and that's about $1.50. That was faster than F1. Alright guys, thank you. Take care. Let's go. We got a distance to cover. Not just Bang Bang. This is Bang Bang Max. All of this, $2.75. And we're back at our hotel. Look at this beautiful little piece of paradise for only $25 a night. We were staying right in there. That's again, one of the things that's just so incredible about Bali. You don't need a ton of money to have a nice weekend trip. All in all, paid about a million for the tour, 200,000 tip. The room here was about 350,000. You can see how it doesn't add up to a whole lot. But look at this. I would pay that amount of money to have this view any day. 
ready to go swimming and that deliciously looking pool. I'm proud of myself because I didn't get sunburnt. So now I'm tempting fate. I'm going back in the sun. I was just talking to my camera being like, I didn't get burnt today. Oh my God, you too. Oh no. Hey, your swim shorts look like they continue all the way up to your neck. So we are all packed up, ready to hit the road, but there's actually something we're leaving without doing. And it's right there. That is Gili Puti. It is a beautiful little sandbar, a spit of land surrounded by blue water. But after going to that first little area in Menjongan Island, we kind of had our fix of blue water for the day. So that will have to be a mystery for another one. Loading up the precious cargo. Waiting for us just an hour and a half south on the west coast is a truly unknown surf haven. And I think I might have just got some of the best drone shots of my life. This place is gorgeous. We got here right as sunset was happening. I mean, look at this. One of the only places where I've ever seen rice terraces right by the ocean. There's no better way to open up your eyes and your horizon of what Bali can be and is than by driving around with a bike. I don't know anything about the area, but already there's a couple really cool restaurants. So I think that's dinner for tonight. Food is really good, guys. We ordered the local catch of the day, which is like a white fish, and wow. We just asked and the hotel is booked tonight. So. Made our decision easy. We're gonna head home, but we got about an hour and 45 to go from here. It's still pretty far. So Google Maps recommended us a local route. That was fine until it brought us here. I'm, I'm not so sure about this part. There is literally a river between the other side of the road and where we are. Are your shoes waterproof? Yeah. I don't think it's that deep. Oh my gosh. Send it, send it. I'm with you, bro. I'm here to film it. We got a lot of camera gear in there, all right? There you go. Hey! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey! Did it! Oh dear, dear. Oh, here they are. Here they are. And uh, you know how I escaped my sunburn? JK. <laughs> and the best part of being back home. Guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the subscribe button. We're about to hit two million and I can't wait to celebrate that with you. And let's get lost again in the next one.